Hello everybody, welcome to Kids Gaming. I'm your host Kids. We're back at it again with some more Empire or my past. Should have been. Today we are playing the amazing mod Alliance at War. Now this is a very interesting mod as it it's been in development for a while, I think, and it's got a lot of units, but I've noticed it kind of has a similar UI to the uh, kind of base game almost. Which I kind of like because it, it makes it very simple to know what I'm doing. Oh, is this pit? Do I get him as a Star Destroyer? Oh, I do. Ooh, we have two Star Destroyers. Oh, wait, no. This, this, he's probably comes in a Starfighter. Alright. Let's get all of our units together and get into a battle to see what the combat is like in this mod. From what I've seen so far on the mod page, this looks really interesting. Also, I love that we just have units all the way from here. <laughs> Let's just pull them all in together for one big fleet. Quintons. Also, something I saw here that I really wanted to build immediately. Where is it? Yes. A Cantwell Cruiser. I've been trying to find a good mod that adds a Cantwell Cruiser for a long time, to the point that I am currently trying to develop a mod, some mod for Waking a Rebellion, with this cruiser in it. So when I saw this on the mod page, I, I got really happy. Alright. Is that it? Do we have any more troops coming in? I know I sent... Okay, so we already got troops in there. Let's look over here. I don't think we have any really big fleets anymore or anything to send. Did we already just lose a Star Destroyer? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I guess I gotta wait now. I wonder how te I didn't see a way to build tech, actually, which kind of confused me. Because we have field commanders. Is it this research facility? Uh, advanced technology and components, yes. Okay, so we should build that on the ground so we can advance our tech. Um... Yeah, let's just have the Arquintons. Do you come in anything? I don't think so. I don't even- I'm not even 100% sure you come with anything. I know you do in base game, but this isn't base game. Alright. Let's get the Cantwell Cruiser off, and then we're, we're going to hit... Probably secure the core, so these three, or these two, Cruiser standing by. Cantwell Cruiser is off the line. Alright, let's go. See if we can poke something. Let's get this battle started. Alright. Oh, it looks so good! Oh, that gives off Rebels vibes. That totally just gives off Rebels vibes. I wonder if the cannons actually move. That'll be interesting to look. They also come with a... Hey, wha wait a minute. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Proton torpedo shot? On... On a TIE fighter? <laughs> okay... I've never been so confused in my entire life. Why is there Proton torpedoes on a TIE? These things don't even have shields! They don't even have life support! What do you guys come with? 24 all, all carries 24 ties. Four type flights, two bomber flights. Why flights? Why not squadrons? That just that messes with my brain. Why is there a torpedo shot on a tie? <laughs> That's weird. I love this model though. This gives off like I this looks so much like the the Arquintons model in the Rebels show. This is nuts. I love that model. Alright, let's get up to here. Speed this up just a tad. Oh, 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 come, come, come down, come down. They outrange their don't come in limits. That's weird. This one's gonna get wrecked. Let's bring in support. And let's save the Cantwell. Do you come with? Yeah, you just come in and tie advance. I figured you might. 
Ooh. Looks like we're actually getting some bigger models. And of course we have to. Can't level cars cruiser to bring up the rear. What do you look like? Oh, it looks so good! Oh, that looks so good! That's like one of the main problems. Let's hang on, let's have a pause. That's like one of the main problems I've been struggling with when trying to create my my sub mod for Awakening Rebellion is I cannot find a model. And I, I've been trying to make my own model, but I'm terrible at it, so I've been struggling desperately to try and get a good model. I'm gonna have to figure out where the model from that came from. <laughs> okay, group one, engage, I believe. Oh, you actually come with your own squadron, that's good. Engage. Uh, eesh, 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 eesh. Bring in a couple of gunships. Oh. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys aren't... You guys are got Corvette mechanics. You don't have gunship mechanics. Oh, that's cool, actually. You also get sensor jamming. That's interesting. Can I... Shockingly, we're still alive. Um, move up and engage. Move up and engage. What is this? Assault. Okay. We have a lot more ties, so... Get involved with this. You should have no problem dealing with that. Also, you move up as well. These guys perform anti-fighter duties. I'm either going to use the ties. Okay, I have to know. I have to do it. The proton shot. It confuses me to all hell. But I have to know. Ooh. Pause. Are you in range? Like, can you get a tractor beam lock on that? Okay, hit the shields. What does this even look like? Oh yeah, you just straight up launch bombs. That's not at all confusing. <laughs> Call for wingman, you replenish your wingman. Attack that. Did we destroy it already? No, we didn't. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a, actually a new model. That's not a different tractor beam model than I'm used to seeing. I was kind of expecting base game model. That's not actually the same tractor beam, though. At least I don't think it is. It might be. I might just be dumb. Alright, engage this. Okay, we're engaging that. Uh, give us a full assault. Full assault. We actually did lose that move up. Move up. Let's bring out a couple more reinforcements here. I actually didn't get a good look at this model. This model doesn't look bad either. None, these models all look really good, actually. I'm probably actually going to use this as my screenshot if I can get a good lighting. Hmm, ties are getting wrecked, but that's kind of to be expected. Call in for wingman, replenish your squadron. I wonder what are the models of you guys look like? Do you actually come in with the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to know. Do your guns... Oh, they do! Okay, that's officially my favorite thing. I did not expect that, actually. The gun model actually moves. I wonder how much of a... Oh, we lost the Cantwell! We are victorious. And we didn't lose our entire fighter squadron when this space station blew up, so that's an automatic win. <laughs> That was shockingly nice to play. Like, I, when I saw the UI, I was expecting kind of an older style mod, which it is. Like, it holds that same vanilla feel, but that was actually really fun. That was more tactically... Like, I got more tactically challenged than I thought. It wasn't hard, but that wasn't exactly easy either. I did lose a good number of ships. Unfortunately, I also lost the Cantwell, which is sad. Let's get prepared for a ground battle and see what the ground fighting looks like. What are you? Uh, special engine on the Empire Hand. Let's not do that. Uh, move out. Um, do I have any school units I want to test? I do, actually. I want to see what the hell you are. Missile platform. That's kind of cool. You link those, get over here, and then let's see on the ground, what do I have access to that I might want to set up? It's kind of interesting. Alright. I wonder, do you have a base? No, you're building tech. 
Once that goes up, I'm actually going to wait to see and see what kind of ships we actually get to make with a tier 3 station. I didn't even check out the... Oh. Oh, we got a lot of stuff to work with. We got TIE Scouts. That's always good. Vindicator. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. Quasars. And let's check out the Dreadnought as well. Alright. Let's get the ground battle started. We'll hit the ground with a field commander. Kind of light. Actually, let's move this out just to help reinforce. I don't suppose there is field commanders bring in ties. Alright. Move out. T-pose to assert dominance. <laughs> oh my god, that's the funniest thing ever. Okay, hang on, I didn't, I didn't want to send you out that far. Oh my god, that's the funniest thing ever. That's... Okay, first of all, that speech was go went hard as frick. But also, the commander, he's not even holding his gun right. He's so confident, he's just T-posing. His legs don't even move. That's he's he has a he has ascended. He is floating across the ground. He has uncovered the truest. Also, we only have five. Like, I'm a little bit I honestly don't know whether I want that to be removed or not. I kinda love that feature. Which I'm I'm assuming it's a feature. Let's get missile pods. Oh. Interesting. Do you come down with anything else, or are you just the dark side? I'm assuming you're just a uh, Sith. So let's bring out and check out the at, -AT model. Which I don't know how much it'll defer from the base game. Um, and Titan Infantry turret. Yeah, let's grab that. Join up with the field commander. Make you guys group one. Group two. You guys kind of got like mini guns on the front. Can I see what kind of weapons you're holding? Uh, concussion missile, ideal for a rotary laser cannon. That's good. Good against infantry. And group three. I can't tell if that's base model. I haven't played base game in so long, but I can't tell if that's base model. But that looks way better than space model. Like, that looks almost similar to Awakening of the Bellions model, I would say. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they shared assets. That looks really good. That looks crisp. Um, let's move out. Also, yeah, let's check out this model there. This model also looks really good. This looks like something the Sith Empire would use. Have we? Have we located the enemy? We have. No, no, we haven't. It's gone. The enemy no longer exists. We located them, and then now they're gone. Let's move out. Oh, we have actually one more space. Did we lose something? Group 3... Group 2, check that out. Let us... Only, only get 2? Okay. We actually have a bombing run, so let's check that out. Laser barrage, put from with that overheating for a sword. That's kind of cool. What happens if we do this? Oh, that wasn't. That was... That was just... Oh, they have, like... Oh, they have... That's cool. That's, like, similar to Remake, where they have... I don't even remember if they do actually have a building here or not. We're moving way too quick for them to even get a shot off on us, which I kind of think is kind of funny. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't do the thing such as stopping. Is this actually something usable? No. Alright. Let's go back here. Let's drop a bombing run on this thing. I don't know if this is actually something that they pop, but it'd be kind of cool to drop a bombing run on it. Tip, we just passed some... We just flew by him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't mind if we... Yes, I'll actually give us a good idea chance to see what their bombing gun is capable of doing. Oh, 
Oh. Oh no. They have anti-air. Damn. Okay. Well, we have a target now. Don't automatically do that. Maximum firepower. You can also draw deploy stormtroopers. Okay, so this is the old style of AT-AT where you can deploy transports. I wonder what path they are using. They're gonna go the old-fashioned way, so we gotta be prepared. Oh, that was cool. You could see the... Ref that was actually really cool. I wonder, can you see the units in the water? No. That was cool, though. You could actually see... I bet you could see this in the water if it got close enough. You could see the transport going up in the air. That's actually a lot of tension to detail. And I know their main base is here, so keep that in mind. I just dropped in some more scouts. Make you group four again. Group one, you're officially going through the water. Be careful with that. Group two... I think you're generally good at pretty much everything. You can deal with weak against. Oh, you're only good against infantry. Oh, I would have thought because you're in cotton target or takes any damage destination cannot move. Okay. While barraging a destination the unit cannot move. Okay. I just love every once in a while viewers are just like, yeah, delete that. I, know, I hardly ever get to see what they're shooting at. Oh, 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 oh. Don't do any of that. Report, help. Assist. Engage. Did it fix? Or are you just T-posing to assert dominance still? <laughs> yes, T-pose! They can't kill you if you T-pose. Alright, focus on this. Group 2, continue to move out. Same with group 3. Group 1, move out to engage here. We capture this, and then we'll build a turret on it. Probably anti-infantry, because I'm not too worried about anti-tank at the moment. We do have bombers. Let's actually try and see if we can drop up. Because I know in Awaken the Rebellion, you can just drop a bomb on... I wonder if it's similar with this mod. You can just drop a bomb on something. Uh... Where was that anti-infantry turret? Here, 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 here. Okay. What? Why can't I... Did I only have... That's weird. Alright, build this. Continue to move out. Continue to move out. Group 2, how are you holding? I know generally where they are, so let's speed this up. And... Group 1, get to there. I don't want you to move out. Group 2. I almost want to see what you're, you guys are capable of on your own. Group 3, continue to move out. You're slow, so you're not going to get here in time. Okay, undo that. Ooh, that's very effective. Yeah, you just still barrage in the same area. Interesting. So you don't actually need to barrage at target, which is kind of interesting. But also, never mind. That means nothing. <laughs> uh, actually it does. If we can bring you in. You can fly, if I remember correctly. So we can fly you over to group one. Group three. We can get you reinforcements really if we how far can we I can fly you across the map. <laughs> What's with that pose? He's cosplaying as Superman. I kinda love the little poses they do, especially the field commander. That's my favorite thing in all of Empire at War. Like, sure, Remake looks good, but do their field commanders T-pose? I kind of love that you can also just fly across the map. I wonder if you're counting as an air unit there and you can get just sniped. 
I'm hoping you can at least hold your own in a fight because I'm going to drop bombs. And it'll also be a good test to see what our bombs look like because I have yet to see them yet. <laughs> Also flies over terrain relatively well, doesn't follow the path, takes a direct path, I like that. I'm sure you do. Okay, and you're almost there. Get onto the ground, thank you, move out this way. No, don't do that. Okay, you die relatively quickly. Oh, okay good, they didn't take any of that. Those aren't moving quick. I wonder if there's any air units we can use as the Empire, like TIE Strikers or anything cool like that. And... Be a good idea. I wonder if you could get damaged by your own bomb run. I can't remember if that was a base game thing. Okay, bombs are actually really good. I actually kind of like that effect. Also leaves behind scarring and stuff. Alright, move out. Dear God, don't do that. No wonder you're so slow. Two, move out, move out. We're dealing with that. Alright, sorry about that. My audio is, my uh, headphones that have been working all day were just like, you know what? Right now, we're gonna die. That's the fun part of the day. Uh, move out. I kind of like the ground balance of it all. Like, my vehicles aren't invincible. My hero died in a couple of shots. Like, it's not like Empire War at all. Like, I'm not entirely convinced. Oh, yeah, like, again, I'm not entirely con Oh, we just lost units. Okay. Oh, are you just out of range? Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, we're about to lose. Group two, come on, kill this. Group one, engage, engage, engage. Oh, we lost it. Damn, okay. Deploy a unit. We're gonna send them over this way. Group one, is this all that's left? No, you guys are just slow. I'm actually gonna move all to here, because I think you're actually considered two squads, even though you're three troopers. Uh, what we have, do new have a new squad out here. Run out, check this out. Cooling salt. Do all of them have that? They do. I'm dumb. I gotta use that very effectively. Okay, get over to here. We'll drop in some S uh, ATSTs. And then maybe for like Vader to call it to kind of sweep the floor with them. Are you still crouched? You are. Don't do any of that. You guys crouch. That's it. Okay, and we have this. Group one, group two, group three, group one. Let's just bring in the whole army. We're actually going to move you out this way. This is also a good, a good, yeah, you don't come in with the 501st, you come in as Vader, which is still cool. Why can't I see your face? <laughs> Hello? I can't see your face. There you go. Cool looking model. All right. Let us get all units moving in. We know where they are. I'm not really too concerned about anything else. Oy. Ooh, they're kind of wrecking us. Ooh, we almost got wrecked. But here's Darth Vader. We're saved. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Good ATST model, too. Also love the, the, the Stormtrooper models, too. I can't tell if that's changed or base game, but that looks way too crisp to be base game. But I might be dumb. Alright, go in and attack this. 
Everybody come out of hiding. I don't really need you to anymore. I'm pretty sure this is all they got. I can just... There we go. Bombing run. I don't know if you have actually range on that. Oh, we're shooting at something. Never mind, it's gone. I like how quick the bombing runs are. I'm not sitting here waiting five minutes for a bombing run. And kaboom. Alright, now focus on this. Oh, somebody just engaged their lightsaber. Ooh, yeah, I heard that right. Seems like we actually did a lot of damage on this. Maybe some stray bombs or something caught it. Which I'm pretty sure Vader on his own might be able to handle. Yeah, because Vader's got that ability. And this droid question mark? Oh, we get uh, eyes on him. Attack. Can you force push this? Force crush. Oh. An enemy until it's destroyed. Yeah, you. that's kind of exactly what you do. Uh, checking out you. There's actually one in you and in you. They, they put most of their things in here. We had station here. Mercenary. A mining facility. There's a lot in this map. We could have done so much more routes than this. Interesting. <laughs> we paid for that attack. Damn. I was not act that we paid a lot for that attack. That's actually interesting. They did way more damage to us than I would have thought they did. Huh. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave that one here. So, my thoughts on this mod were, I definitely recommend this. This was actually really fun. If you want me to continue this, Go leave a like and leave in a comment section below telling me you want to see a part 2 of this, because I definitely might. This was fun. I'm definitely going to be playing it on my own, that's for sure. This I love the Cantwell Cruiser. And I'm going to have to know, I'm going to have to try and find out what the model was for it. Because I've been trying so long to make my own sun mod, but I can't, and it's sad. I'm actually going to build a couple more of this before I end the episode. Just put all of our money into Cantwells. <laughs> that might probably be a stupid decision if I come back to this, but meh, who cares. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more Empire War content, go check out my other playlists. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!